Whoa! Live show time! If you guys missed it, sorry. This will be the update though. So, I'm going to jump right into it. Russ with RWGResearch.com and go. I have decided that I'm thinking if we take two of these pumps <clears throat> for a... These are out of a... That one's actually out of a freezer. That one's actually out of a condensing unit for like uh, getting the water out of the air. And I decided to hook them up in series try to try to make this one pull a vacuum on that one so that we can get an even bigger vacuum. And the longer I let this sit here, I found this vacuum gauge that I borrowed from a friend for now until Jeff gets them to me. This was in my basement actually. I've had it forever. I need to give it back to him. Uh, <clears throat> so we're close to 30 on there. And inside of this chamber today, I'm doing some tests for science only. Mr. Blaine himself has sent me these. These are titanium rods. You can hear it. They're real weird. And they're real light. They don't weigh anything. So I cut it off. I cut them off. And stuck them in here. And you're not going to be able to see them until I light it up. So, well, you can kind of see it there. So we'll go ahead and light it up. I've got AC. My AC supply with capacitors. And we're going to hook this up. It's so far, it's been really, really cool looking. So, I'm going to just hold this sideways. And turn it on now. And there you go. So it's, it's really cool in there. Look how far back the plasma is going on that electrode. Can't wait to try DC. Again, I'm under a real high vacuum. So if we want to turn the the vacuum pumps off and see what happens, I say we can do that. But you can see the right in the middle there. There's a nice orange glow, not in between the electrodes, but on the edges of it. And those are pointed, by the way, all the way to a point. I machined them to a point. Yeah, that's the AC for it. That's really cool. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and I'll turn the vacuum off and we'll see what it looks like in here. Alright guys, so the vacuum is very slowly building up. I'm at 28 right now. So I'm going to pull this vacuum hose off and we're going to watch what happens. Oh wow, look at that. Alright, so we're back to a, a normal nice plasma arc there. And we'll let it build up some vacuum very slowly. It's at 28 getting close to 29 that's about max so I'm gonna bring that back down to about right in here that was pretty cool looking that looks real cool right there that's about 26 27 to 28 is whenever it looked really cool there. And let's bring it back down. Watch it again. 26, 27, 28. Camera work 20, it's right about 29 vacuum right now. That's inches of mercury. So, there you go, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so, we will continue on, try to give the live audience members a peek at that, and uh, we'll get some DC out and see what happens now under the higher vacuum than I had last time, I believe. All right, be right back. 
Okay, everyone, 10,000 volt supply, just like last time. Capacitor discharge style. And we got some pretty cool effects going on right now. Really, really cool effects. Check that out. Let's see if we can actually get focused on it. I know you guys are going to yell at me, just do autofocus, but it doesn't work quite that well. There it goes. It's pulling the plasma all the way to the back. Now, whenever I pull my vacuum off, it goes away real quick. There, I only dropped one inches of mercury. There's 26 inches of mercury. 27. 28. You can see the lines going through the camera. That's because of the, the frame rates and the discharge rate. So there's 29 right there. <clears throat> I think I'm pulling more vacuum with both these pumps hooked up. Even though the tests I did doesn't really show that. That is too cool. Looks great. I wonder how hot it's getting. I should check it. Alright, we'll try some more experiments. <clears throat> okay, guys, boys and girls. I decided to hook these up in parallel. You can't really hook them up in series because of how they're set up. So I hooked them up in parallel. And what I wanted to try to do is see if we could possibly get a different result. And I've, I've kind of disconnected one and connected the other and check out the results. They're, both of these supplies are the same, but, but check out the uh, check out how blue and how nice that is. Okay, that's with the one supply. And you already saw the other supply. Now, what I did for fun here is if I allow this to spark like that, all right, we get a really cool effect in here. So check it out. Hold on, let it focus. I'm as close as I can get. Now, I'll have to edit this part out. Come on, camera. There it goes. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't do anything different. Just pulling more vacuum. All right, here we go. I was really throwing off some sparks and stuff in there. Now, when I hook it up so they're both in parallel, that's what it looks like. You've got a... There's just one supply. There's one supply, and there's both supplies. More current. A lot more current. But that's real cool right there. Alrighty, let's see what's next. <laughs> 